Hello. So when we're um, talking about effective rate or annual percentage yield, um, your book uses effective rate. The my labs uses APY or annual percentage yield, but they're the same thing. Now when it's a compounded amount, both of these are compounded, then we can use the calculator. When it's continuous, we'll have to use a formula. But because these are compounded amounts, we can use the calculator. Now to use it, you do app app finance is highlighted. And then you have to go up until you see effective rate, EFS. Highlight it and hit enter. And notice it brings EFS on the screen. Now, what you're entering is your percent. And since you're using the calculator's formula, you write it as a percent. And then you're compounding per year. So if we look at number 30, it says it's 6% compounded quarterly. So we put six and then the comma is right above the seven. Okay. Comma. And then quarterly is four times in a year. So our answer is six, depending on how many, we'll round to the hundredth, 6.14. Notice it gives you the percent. Try another one. Six and a quarter percent compounded semi annually. So we need to go back into apps, finance, hit enter, and then go up until you see effective rate. And hit enter. And then this time our percent is six and a quarter, comma. And my annually is twice a year. Hit enter, and you get 6.35%. So what it's saying is 6%, this one, 6% compounded quarterly would be similar to 6 and 14% in a year. So it's telling you approximately how much you make in a year. Because it's compounding every quarter, you're making interest off of the interest. So six and a quarter percent compounded semi-annually is actually making 6.7 in a year. So that's everything for effective rate for now. We will also do effective rate compounded continuously.